Hey, good morning, everybody. Another one of my all too infrequent messages from the deck. Uh, last time I talked with you guys, uh, it was a bit warmer. I put out my lavender and rosemary just for effect, but it's actually a little too chilly now at nighttime for them. So last night I brought them inside and they're gonna have to stay with me on the inside. So, but just for the video, I thought I'd pop them out there for effect, you know, make it feel warmer, get my plants out, you know, but it's actually, uh, as you guys know, today's Thursday morning. It's, it's Boston. It's probably in the 50s. Should warm up to the mid 60s today. Uh, and at least for the next couple weeks out, it looks like it's going to be 60s and 70s, which is good. But uh, wanted to give you guys an update. This is the November December update video. I want to start out by just recapping my last video with Equifax. Um, I'm going to have a whole summary page. Uh, I sent emails to clients and friends of my recommendations. I'm going to put out a summary page again on that. So what I'm going to do is summarize actually this whole video or this whole session, including the Equifax stuff in one email. But it, for those of you that uh, uh, don't like to read or chase around stuff, it just the quick summary is I, I want you to f freeze your credit uh, permanently until you unlock it. I'd like you to minimize the number of credit cards and stuff that you have to keep better tracking. Um, I'd like you to... Um, you know, look at some kind of alert system for your spending so that you get alerts to your phone or emails or whenever, you know, whenever something happens on your card, stuff like that. So I want you to do that stuff. Personally, actually, I froze my credit and then I applied for a, a business line of credit um, and, uh, and it was pretty easy, actually. Uh, the, the banker told me that their department they go to Experian first and then they go to TransUnion if they can't get through Experian. So uh, as I mentioned in my last video, I use uh, the, the true credit from TransUnion. So when they told me that, I didn't bother unfreezing all my credit. I logged on to my TransUnion account, I unfroze my credit for a few days, they were able to get that and I locked it back up and we're good to go. So that was actually worked out really easy. So now I have first-hand experience immediately after recommending that strategy to you that this is actually a pretty easy process so I did it work great um, also so that's that so I'll summarize that second thing I want to talk to you about is just to update uh, I have one more seminar that I'm doing this month on the 24th at the uh, Belmont Council on Aging it's going to be on um, the cost of financial products uh, in many of you know we're, we're a fee-based advisor uh, some of our clients are percentage fee but I've been increasingly using a flat fee system Either way, I like the idea of there being disclosure and such, and uh, for a lot of people, including a, a recent, some of my recent new clients that uh, discovered that there are a lot of hidden fees in some of the products they own. So uh, I'm gonna discuss that, stuff like that, extensively in the seminar. So if you're looking, you know, if you're a client, you wanna stop by, it'd be great to see you. If you're looking for a financial advisory relationship and you wanna know the landscape in the financial field of what where the costs are, you know, what you pay, where, what people are charging, how, what are the explicit and implicit costs? That's what my seminar is going to be about. So that's gonna be on the 24th at the Belmont Council on Aging, I believe at one or 115. So I'll have that also in the email. And a lot of you, most of you got my emails from last month where I gave you the seminar schedule. So just pull up your old email, it'll be there. Third bit of news, uh, we are heading to San Francisco finally uh, in November. So uh, we'll be gone for the month and um, um, and so we're kind of excited about that. A um, little sad because I know there, some of you know there are a lot of uh, very strong wildfires going through Napa and Sonoma County. A lot of people have, have died already and there's been a lot of damage. It's, it's been pretty ugly. So I, I, it's, it's sad to even think about it. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, no, that they can get this stuff under control or nature will probably have to get it under control because it's been so big. But um, anyway, we're heading out there, but on a positive note, some of the stuff we're hoping to see is I would still like to sneak into Sonoma, visit a couple of wineries, vineyards with the kids. One in particular in Sonoma has a, a really cool, um, a, a really cool uh, big pool with fish and turtles that the kids can feed. Also, they have a, a good planetarium in the East Bay that I want to take the kids to. We'll get to the city, we'll get to Muir Woods. We're gonna check out some stuff. I'm gonna do some real estate research out there too because the, the market, you know, I do get um, real estate feeds from Zillow coming from out there and I've noticed you know, a few price changes and stuff. So it's been interesting. I, I wanna get some on the ground uh, stuff there. So we're looking forward to the trip. It's been a while. I haven't been there since the summer of 2015. 
and uh, looking forward to this. And you know, in the past, you know, in those, we'd gone for a really long time. This time's going to be a month. Um, on a side note, I put a really cool camera security system in the house, and uh, that's something I hope to share with you guys maybe in a future video. Just some of my impressions of some of the uh, security systems, if you're interested in that. But it's really cool to be able just to track everything in your house from remote. Um, you know, but you trying to use the best system. So not just going, hey, we got ADT and everything's on ADT. It's like, well, you know what? I want to diversify. I wanted systems that worked if the power went out. I wanted, uh, uh, you know, so I wanted stuff that worked independently. We want, you know, be able to get a connection um, if the internet goes out. So you want to kind of cover every angle. So, you know, that power goes out, we still got you. You know, the, the, the um, internet goes out, still got you. You know, there's still protection. Uh, stuff like that, you know. So uh, I want to cover that too, but so that's just a side note. But hopefully we'll do a lot of fun stuff out there, and I will probably, there'll be a really good chance I'll, I'll be sending you guys some videos uh, from California when we're out there. So excited about that. Uh, lastly, uh, in December, we're going to have a, a wine tasting event. We're going to invite clients first because it's, I don't know how many people will be able to hold. I'm working with somebody I know that uh, has a really cool um, specialty uh, shop. And part of that shop, he sells uh, curated wines, and uh, he's going to set up a whole tasting for us. He's actually expanding his uh, his his place. That he's actually adding a tasting room and stuff. This is going to be a really nice event. We're going to have really interesting hors d'oeuvres. I'm going to have my wife help pick out some some awesome snacks and things to try. Some some exquisite, some just different stuff. You know, maybe some uh, fancy uh, balsamics and olive oils and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. And I will let the clients know, obviously, first on that. That's going to be first or second week in December when we get back. I'm going to have that event. So I'd love to invite you. love to see you there. And uh, as I get nail that event down more, I'll invite clients. And, you know, I'm looking to target, you know, 25 to 50 guests. And obviously, the more guests we can bring, then I can invite some folks, uh, you know, outside. But, you know, we'll invite the clients first, then we'll take it from there. So really excited to bring another uh, wine tasting event to you like we did a couple of years ago. And... So that'll be December. So to summary, a recap of this video, um, <clears throat> we're going to, you know, the, the Equifax stuff, I will have a summary of that online. Seminars, my, my last seminar before I leave is October 24th, the Belmont Council on Aging on Beach Street in Belmont, 1 o'clock. It's on the costs and fees involved in, in financial services. And, uh, and then in November, we're in San Francisco. We're going to be going to the city, going to Muir Woods, hopefully going to Napa and Sonoma. Um, and maybe support some of the businesses that, that had, had a tough time. Uh, we're going to be you know, doing all that good stuff. And then when we get back, we're going to have a, a wine tasting. For, well, we'll keep the wine theme going. We're going to have a wine tasting for the clients. And looking forward to having, uh, having a, my friend curate a really cool tasting event. So that's it for now. I want to keep you guys updated. This is a bit longer of a video, but I want you to have the full update of what's going on. And FYI, just so you know, when we're in San Francisco, if clients, if you need to reach me, the office number just forwards to my cell phone. Uh, I may not answer it right away. I, I'm going to dedicate maybe an hour a day, probably uh, in the morning. Maybe I'll do a little bit of time at the very end of the day also just to see what's going on, check emails, stuff like that, um, if anything is urgent. Other than that, I'm, I'm just going to be, uh, you know, I'll have my phone on me, which I have all my business systems on my phone if anything comes up. But clients, feel free to call me. Anybody else, I may, you know, make it back to you <laughs> December 2nd when we get back. So just so you know that, uh, I am going to actually going to make this truly a vacation. I didn't mention this earlier in the video, but I wanted to kind of maybe cap with this. I'm going to truly make this a vacation so that I, I will really be tuned out for a, a lot of the time as far as I'm not going to be, you know, reading articles on IRAs and researching this investment and stuff at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm just, you know, I'm going to be doing something else. And um, so... That's it, you know, and I think I just need to do a better job of myself of living the 80-20 lifestyle I always talk about. And this is going to be my, uh, you know, 80-20 where I'm going to really focus on spending some good quality time in down mode, working really on being out, enjoying things, fitness, uh, enjoying just what, you know, everything California has to offer and wine country and Northern California, and then reporting back to you guys occasionally in a video. So thanks so much again. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this video and taking a long time with me. Any questions, give me a call, drop me an email, and I'll get back to you. And, and probably the next time I do a video from the deck, there may be some snow on here. I hope not, but we'll find out. Have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you soon.